da, 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 da. Oh, wait, is Carmina Burana copywritten? Yikes, right? Unless you don't have eyes or have never been inside a building before, you've probably seen a house centipede, Scudagera coleoptrata, scuttling around, being generally horrifying. Though the term centipede suggests that this tiny terror has hundreds of legs, it only possesses 15 pairs of legs, which allow it to move very, very quickly. Noom! But Lisa, you're wondering if it only has 30 real legs, and what are those long, creepy things sticking out of either end of it? I am glad you asked. Those appendages are primarily just for show. Much like polyphemus moths that look like they have eyes on their wings. Ooh, pretty. Or those annoying guys who wear sunglasses on the backs of their heads. These appendages are meant to confuse predators, making it hard to tell which end of the insect is which, and ultimately act as a deterrent to predation. It certainly worked on me. Before realizing that specimen from Mariapoda wouldn't count towards my collection for this course, I tried to catch this freak of nature and was, rightfully, paralyzed with fear. There's just, it's just, that's too many legs. It's too many legs. Too many. House Centipede 1, Lisa 0. House Centipedes are nighttime hunters and prefer the dark, as seen here. Uh, uh, wow, Lisa, what great video quality. Nice one. Anyway, they hunt common household pests such as bedbugs or even silverfish, so I guess they can't be all that bad. Nope. Nope. Awful. Absolutely terrible. That is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I hate it. I... Nope. Nope! Do 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 do. Time for the credits. Time for the credits. It's credits time. Oh, oh, it's over.